Ave Maria, this is Fra David with AirMaria.com, and I'm here today with Randy Albright, singer, songwriter, and child of Mary. Randy, how are you? I'm wonderful. Great to be here today. It's great to have you here with us today. Could you tell us a little bit about your personal story, how you got into songwriting in the beginning? Well, it really starts back, I was adopted into a Polish-American family, a musical family, and um, when I was eight years old, my parents bought me a guitar, and my mother could play some. When I was nine, she came into my room one day and said, let's write a song. I thought, well, I never thought of that. So I wrote my first song with, with my mother, and um, she had told me growing up, one day when you're married and settled in, I have something I want to give you. And when that day came many years later, uh, I confronted her on it, and I could see in her eyes, yeah, it's time. And she went into the her, her bedroom, and I could hear her digging in the cedar chest. And she came out with this old newspaper, and she handed it to me, and she said, I think this could be your mother. And it was a picture of a young lady sitting at a piano who had just won an award for writing a song. And had the long arms, lanky, and the circles under their eyes, and... And um, so anyhow, uh, that was my mother. And within three phone calls, it was uh, confirmed. Um, But going back, uh, my mother had tried to put me on the path of writing songs because she had that newspaper and said, if this is his mother, maybe that's the path he would be on. So that's how it started with my mother. Uh, And we had Polish orchestras growing up, uh, about three or four in our family. And I decided one day I would go to Nashville and, and try my hand at writing songs and making a living at it. So when I was 20 years old, um, I moved to Nashville and uh, I spent about 25 years uh, writing songs for you know Vince Gill, Alabama, Diamond Rio, uh, George Jones, Tammy Wynette. But little did I know that it was really the training ground that the Blessed Virgin Mary had had in store for me. Consecrating yourself to her or anything like that? Well, I uh, grew up in a, in a family of aunts and uncles and, and uh, of course, a parish that always prayed the rosary since World War II before every single Mass all these years. So uh, I grew up around the rosary and, um, uh, and, and, and of course, didn't pray it every day like Our Lady asked us to. And uh, I do now, but uh, it took me a long time. Uh, and I, I had three sons, and one day um, I decided, that, of course, they, they used to get up before school and pray the rosary with me. Now, there's not too many, <laughs> there's not too many young boys that will get up and pray the rosary at 6 a.m., so uh, I, I thanked Our Lady for, for that. And at that time, um, I consecrated them. Uh, Our Lady continues to, <laughs> to open doors for me since I, I kind of... Uh, haven't left the music scene uh, of Nashville, but uh, I'm not active because my, my active role now is in uh, the Gospel of Christ through Mary. And so um, uh, this, uh, this new album, A Musical Celebration of Mary, has a, uh, a one-hour show. I wrote the dialogue for it. And people say, we, we'd love for it to have you come sing here. And so uh, our ladies actively getting me working and, and uh, singing about her, so that's... And you also wrote music for the Divine Mercy Chaplet, is that right? Yes, uh, and and that really made the change for me after I left country music, and that actually it was one of the reasons of leaving country music. I was playing uh, the Saturday evening mass for our parish and had just really begun doing that again after not having done it for many years. Um, and I was driving down the road one day, and I started singing the Divine Mercy Chapel. And I grabbed my recorder as the most songwriter I have it real close by, and I sang the whole chapel. And so that began the, my, uh, I guess, the turning point into, into Catholic music as, as my mainstream goal in, in uh, the kind of music that I do. Well, we wish you many blessings, uh, continued blessings in your music. And I'm sure you'll do a world of good for souls devoted to our lady, children of Mary. And uh, many blessings. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me here today. Pleasure. This is Fraud David with Randy Albright and wishing you many blessings in Christ's struggle.